Hi there, welcome back to Dear Cyber Zoo Advice Talk Show. Today's topic is, why do I want someone more when they're not really interested in me? Now this is a really good conversation because it's really a popular topic. When I get people writing my advice column, a lot of them are saying, you know, I really like this guy or I really like this girl, but you know, they just weren't into me. What's going on? A lot of the times what happens is it's a bit of the chase, it's a bit of the challenge, and it's a bit of that rejection that we might have felt it, you know, during our childhood or maybe one of our really long relationships ended. And so now we've got this, these cobwebs and, and demons inside of us that are making us really uncomfortable with who we are. And the reason for that is because rejection is super powerful. Sometimes all it takes is one rejection in your life and it can screw you up for a long time. This is why it's really, really important to deal with breakups, deal with stuff that maybe happened in your childhood with parents, with anything that went on in your life that was really traumatic. Because when we have love gone wrong or rejection in the love department, if you want to put it that way, we tend to hold on to that rejection. We, we hold on to it because a part of us no longer believes in ourselves. We don't, maybe don't believe in love. And so what happens is we push a lot of things away. But So then there's the other side where it's all about ego. And you're used to getting what you want. You're used to getting the guys or you're used to getting all the girls that, that you want and it, you don't have to work so hard. And so what happens is now you're going for the ones who aren't showing a lot of interest. So it's becoming a bit of a challenger game to you. And, but you know, this, this may be fun for a while because it's like, oh, but they don't want me. So I'm going to go make that happen. And it becomes sort of like a, a drive for you to, to conquer this situation. Well, neither of these things are healthy, whether it comes from past drama, relationship drama or family drama, or whether it's just because you've got a, an ego that likes to have a bit of that challenge. Neither one of them are good because you're not being who you really are. Because let's face it, that's nobody wants to have to chase after something their entire life. Because what happens once you've got it? What happens if you actually go in and, and, and run after this person and lure them into your, your den and you get them to like you? Well, chances are, after a year or so, if you last that long, you're not going to probably want them anymore anyway because you're not dealing with why you have to have this chase. So what I suggest here is if you feel that you're constantly having to have this excitement in your life by, by going for what you can't have, there's an underlying issue here that you might want to try and figure out because it's lonely living your life like that because you're going to, I mean, eventually you're going to run out of conquests and you're going to be sitting there going, what happened? Why am I alone? Why am I not being with anybody? Maybe all you really want is somebody who's just a lot of fun and somebody who keeps you a little bit on your toes, somebody who's got some excitement and some goals and aspirations in their life. Maybe that's all you really want, but you just haven't met that person. Or maybe you're dating a certain type of person that isn't really your type so that you don't have to commit. So look, think about all those things, because as I said, after a while, it does get a bit old and you don't want that for the rest of your life. Well, unless you're confirmed bachelorette or bachelor. But for the most part, most people do want a solid relationship that where they can have reciprocated love. Maybe a family or just maybe even just a really nice home to come, come back to after your job. Anyway, think about it because there's a lot of this going on out there. There's a lot of chasing, a lot of game playing, a lot of like, let's see if I can just get her or him into the sack. It's okay for a while, but I'm telling you right now, it's not great long term. Anyway, thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please keep subscribing to my channel here on YouTube and like the video and leave your comments. Like, how long did you play this game for? Are you still playing the game? Or do you only meet people who play this game? Thanks everyone.